Hi there, let's take a look at trimming shadow play clips using Avi Demux. So we're gonna need two pieces of software to make this work. First you'll need shadow play and you'll need to be recording um, some gameplay. And once you've done that, you're going to have some footage. Now I've got some footage right here. And then we're gonna need additional software. We're gonna use Avi Demux to actually trim the clip. Now the advantage of Avi Demux is I don't have to re-encode it. We're also going to show you how to use Handbrake to basically create a smaller 720p version of your video. This is going to require a re-rendering uh, of your clip because you're basically we need to down sample the resolution uh, and essentially the picture of the video. This can result in smaller file sizes and is, you know, sometimes a good strategy if the game is basically good enough at 720p. Now, I recommend exporting up until 1080p. You can also just set Shadowplay to record 720p 60fps, but you're probably gaming on a 1080p monitor or maybe even at higher resolutions. So let's take a look at how we can make that a bit smaller. First and foremost, we need to be able to trim a clip. I've got this uh, clip here and I just um, basically drag it into Avidimux. And basically we can select what we want to trim. And what you do is let's say we've got this goal here by this person, is we can actually go through each frame using our arrow keys and you can see, and we're gonna go until we get to the recap. And then we can basically mark our A and our B point. Our A point is where our recording starts and our B point is where our recording stops. So this is where our recording starts and we're gonna go through the frames through this recording and you can see boom. This guy is using this and um, he's using this this open advantage because there was no one in the goal so great job by uh, this guy. All right, so fade until black here, and we'll mark this as the B. Now this is, if you if you look at A and B, you can basically see this is a nine second clip. We'll select the output format, which is MP4 V2. This is important because we're just going to be copying and uh, pasting the video track from this video, which means we don't need to do any re-encodes. And we're gonna call this file a goal and we'll press save and boom it's here because we don't need to actually do any re-encodes so i'm gonna just turn off the volume here and you can see the score and boom we see the goal really nice all right stop and uh, there we have it we have our full goal and it's been exported in 1080p 60 fps because we didn't actually change the settings next step is handbrake now let's select a source here and we'll use the goal we have already and we'll want to crop it I've created a, a preset basically 720p gameplay all you have to do is head over to picture and set the width to 1280 which is basically 720p. Um, the height is automatically calculated, which is 720. And then you can set the optimized video setting depending on how much free time you have, uh, how long you want to wait. Uh, putting this all the way over here results in better quality and slower encodes. And this is faster, but you know, bigger files basically. When you're dealing with very short clips, it usually isn't worth the hassle to turn it up all the way until very slow, but I do recommend medium. Between very fast and medium, there's about a 20 megabyte uh, difference in size uh, when you're dealing with a clip of about, I think, 30 seconds. But it depends on what you're actually showing, of course. So we're gonna go with medium here, and then you'll need to just basically do uh, uh, put in a file name 
Let's do that right now. Go 780p, click start. It's going to basically encode the file. This is going to be fast or slow depending on your CPU and depending on the preset you selected. And once this process is done, you have a smaller 720p version of your video right over here. So you're going to see 720p video is 10 megabytes and our 1080p video is 50. So that's a big difference in terms of upload. And you may want to consider just changing that. So again, just to show you that this is the same clip, but it's been encoded to be smaller. So a smaller picture, bigger picture. You can see the, the player resize because this is actually a bigger picture. It's trying to fit on the screen. All right, good. So we've got our two clips and now you're free to upload them onto YouTube and you've just done this. Create a very short clip without having to re-encode the entire file. You just trimmed out a clip and we, we made it a bit smaller and that's it. Much better than the original file, which was an entire recording of three gigabytes. If you use the YouTube editor, this would have taken a long time to upload and then we would just have to just trim out 10 seconds. It's ridiculous. And this is a much better solution. So I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you, if it did, please hit the like button. And if it didn't help or you want to see more, um, just leave a comment and let me know what went wrong. Thank you for watching and I'll see you until the next time.